Good afternoon. Welcome to today's webinar on DATMAIL Advanced, the latest in an ongoing series of educational webinars from WindowBook. My name is Wallace Vingelis, and I'm Vice President here at WindowBook. Joining me today, Steve Dowdy, WindowBook's mailing industry software specialist. Today's webinar will discuss some of the more advanced features and functions of WindowBook's industry-leading post pre-sort solution, DATMAIL. We're also going to see a live demonstration of that mail given by Steve Dowdy. Uh, amongst a, a number of different things today, some of the things we're going to discuss are the difference between pre-sort and post-pre-sort software and some of the advanced features and functions of that mail. This will be followed by a live that mail demonstration given by Steve Dowdy. Like I said, he is Window Book's mailing industry software specialist. Let's have a quick refresher on uh, pre-sort and post-pre-sort software. I say refresher because you know we we do webinars on this, we've written white papers, we've a number of different things that that over the last few years we we really are we see the the terms and the concept and everything really taking hold in the industry about pre-sort versus post-pre-sort software. So pre-sort software is the software used to prepare the initial plan for a mailing. It includes such elements as address hygiene and move update functions, duplicate elimination, as well as the more commonly known function of sorting the address records into the sequence specified by the Postal Service in order to take advantage of various postage discounts. That's your actual pre-sort step. Everything together is pre-sort software. One of the key outputs of this last process is a mail.dat file set. This is a group of individual subfiles which collectively comprise the relational database file that contains all the details about the mailing. Well, except for the names and addresses of the mail recipients. Those are not in the mail.dat file. They're not needed there. They'll never be in there. That allows it to maintain confidentiality and then be easily shared amongst the many different members of what's called the mailing supply chain. Now, though we understand and recognize that pre-source software is very powerful and a necessary part of the overall mailing process, we also know full well that the initial pre-sort plan can and does change, sometimes right up until the mail is being physically prepared. Through editing the mail at that files, post pre sort software, like WindowBook's DATMAIL solution, can make changes to the initial plan or mailing without having to go back and rerun the actual pre-sort step. Several common examples include changing the piece weights, accounting for spoilage, and creating partial mailings. Mailings are oftentimes run through the pre-sort software step days or even weeks in advance of the actual physical preparation. At the time of pre-sorting, mailers are forced to provide estimated piece weights. But when the pieces are physically prepared, these weights must be changed to re be reported accurately on all your postal reports, your qualification reports, your postage statements, all of those required, uh, all of that required documentation for the Postal Service. Now, during the physical preparation of the mail, pieces can get damaged or spoiled, and then they get pulled from the mailing. Sometimes they get reprinted and manually inserted back into their proper handling units, but most times they simply get pulled and either mailed separately or just not mailed at all. Once again, post pre-sort software can be used to edit these mail.dat files so these pieces are not reported as part of the mailing, and most importantly, postage is not wasted on them. Sorry. The last example we'll look at is a partial mailing. Let's say the file run through the pre-sort step was a million records. Your mail shop can only prepare and palletize 200 of those pieces on Monday. Using post pre-sort software like that mail, you can identify and report on just the containers that you plan to present to the Postal Service for processing Monday night. These three examples are just a few of the ways that DATMAIL post pre-sort software can let a user accommodate changes to the initial pre-sort plan and produce postal documentation that matches the actual mailing being presented for processing and delivery. On the previous slide, we talked a little about several of the functions that DATMAIL offers. Now we'll cover some more of them before having Steve show you how all these work. 